Well, howdy, 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 y'all. Teresa here, and... I was told to be quiet. I told, told you to try to be normal. I, you know... Oh, that, oh, oh, oh. That, <laughs> that does not take any effort at all for me to be normal. <laughs> Why do you lie to these people? <laughs> that is not very nice. Did that hurt you feel bad? Yes, it did. Oh, good. You pretty much emotion, emotionally scarred. See, Holy you, crap, Zach! Well, I picked my nose. Okay, go ahead. I did. Oh, you want to do it on camera? Not particularly, no. Do you guys think we forgot about you? Probably. You're like, you never know when I'm going to upload. Hell, I never know when I'm going to upload. Or Harry Hack. What's that for? What's what for? That clampy thingy. It's a clampy thingy to hold something down. I well, have no idea. I don't know what it was for. I don't either. Here, let me see it. Do you guys know what this clampy thingy is for to hold what down? I don't know. It bothers me. Why don't we know? Because... We're old and absent-minded. It must have been something important, though. Why? I don't know. It was to hold something. Mm -hmm. Now that. I don't know. Anyway. Hi. It's June 5th, wow. 2017. Monday evening. It is 6.32 p.m. And we're just getting on here now. I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. It's Brad's fault. No. It's Brad's fault. I am the it's sweetness. always Brad's fault. If guys, anything you think is wrong with us, it's Brad's fault. Right? I am sweet and innocent. Right. Let's snows in the left this candle, okay? Snows, snows. What the heck? Wow. Nose in the left. Wow. Here, smell. Take a big old whiff. Okay, take another big old whiff. Doesn't that smell wonderful? And again, I say, wow. And again, you know what this is. Mm -hmm. My friend Pam sent this to me. And I love it. And whenever I've had a crazy day, Miss Pam, I light this up. And I always think of you when I light it up. Light it up, baby. It's so pretty, too. Not pretty. Put that here. First time I've really sat down all day. We've been cray, cray, cray all day. But let's start with yesterday. Wait! Bradley! What? We need to do the weather. I'll do the weather. You do the weather. Okay. I got sh stuff going on here. <laughs> He's cleaning out his... Um, I'm cleaning out my drawers. Oh, we don't want to tell him about that. No. He's cleaning out his... um. You know, your whatnot drawers, your junk drawers, whatever you want to call them, yeah. Well, he cleaned it out, and no, I didn't I didn't beg him to. It's just he can't find anything right now, right? Well, yeah, I can. It's somewhere in the drawers. Yeah. So, anyway, it's 84 degrees, real fill is 89. The high was 86, the low will be 75. And originally we were supposed to get some rain and stuff, but it's been overcast, but not. Not gray, and we're not getting anything right now. So, we might Wednesday. Of course, that'll be his other day off. Right, hon? Mm -hmm. So, yesterday was, please say it. Yesterday was. No bra Sunday! No. Oh. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Thank you. I know Lynn will be very happy to hear you say that. So, yes, yesterday was. He cried with at work. He closed. And, um, uh, we kind of had a cluster ruck of a night. <laughs> yeah. I won't go into that, but it was not fun. Yeah. And, um. Well, some of it, I, some, some of it I would like to touch base on. Well, you may. Okay. You know, because it really, it really, really. Can I just turn this toward this? Turn what? Toward where? Just toward your table. I won't toward it. Okay. Because I have to escape for a moment. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay, well, I'll just slide it so you can get out. I don't know if I can. That's close enough. Can you still squeeze through there? <laughs> not what he wanted. No. How about that? That'll work. I can't get through there. Okay. Well, I'll turn it so it's... Wait, I got the... Yeah. Okay. But, what? No. Okay. But what 
I saw, I had something that was really disturbing yesterday. And uh, um, I've heard. You didn't look fine there, huh? I've heard that there are some. Uh, I've heard there's some very prejudicial people in Panacea. Um, so far, for the most part, I haven't seen it. Um, but I was really disgusted by what I saw yesterday. I was very, very disgusted. And, uh, you know, I don't know if the guy was exceptionally drunk or what was going on. But, you know, that's no excuse. And, uh, you know, the name calling and the, the threats and everything, you know, that has no place, no place in our society. And, uh... You might want to back up and tell them what the name is. What? Oh, there was, uh, there was, uh, um, gentleman walking around, walking out the door, and, uh, there was a couple coming through, through the line when this guy was going out the door, and, uh, the, um, the lady was Caucasian, the gentleman was African American, and the, the gentleman said something to, oh, he wanted a pack of cigarettes, and uh, um, I was joking around with him because he's been in enough where we have to put in your birthday. And I knew his birthday. And he started saying something to me about that. And then this other peckerwood that was walking out the door uh, turned around and said, Are you talking to me, boy? And that just, that set me off. You know, and... Uh, uh, there's just, there is no place for that in our society. I mean, it's just, it really disgusts me that the human race, that certain members of the human race, actually, I think I'm being very generous considering them human. I do too. But, you know, there's certain members that just, you know, there, there's no excuse for that. And I don't know, I don't know why they feel they have the right to, uh, to judge anybody, um, but it just, you know, it seems to me that we're, we're, uh, we slipped back about 40 years, you know, seems to me what, what a lot we're seeing now is, is what happened back in the, the fifties and the sixties. And, and, uh, you know, we just can't have that. We've all got to stand up and put a stop to it. And I let the gentleman know that that was unacceptable behavior, and he took off running. Good. You know, but... You need to run. Yeah. You know, but it just, it really, really disgusts me that there are people like that out there. And, uh... Yeah, you would think that in this day and age... Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, we just, we just, we got to stop that, you know. That's just, that's not right. No, it isn't. So, okay, I'm done. No, but it, you're so right on that. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'm back. So, yeah, it was a hard thing, you yeah. know. You, you always think that uh, maybe we're making progress, but yeah. then you've got to have a few people that are still so backwards enough. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't care what the reason is. There's just no room for no. prejudice and. No. In my there is little not. life, <laughs> you know, excuse me while I feel an orange. I feel like I need to eat a little something here. Um, so yesterday, Brad worked, and I <laughs> binge watched uh, Return to Amish. <laughs> and but I felt I could only watch maybe two hours of TV at the most, and now since I'm not used to really watching much of it. The commercials really get to me, so, you know. Yeah. And then um, I did do some loom netting. Hopefully a decent orange. I hate it when they're not. Yeah. You know. The one I had yesterday at, at lunch was good. Mm. It was very good. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. I've had better. I've had worse. Um, so I did some loom knitting. Um, you know, I have a hat to show you. I only got about half of a one done. Because I was trying to get to sleep early because I had a doctor appointment. 
um, phone. It did work more on my loom, my shawl though. This is turning out nice. So I'm liking it. So this, this is what I have so far. And then, and it's not near to the halfway point yet. Yeah, but it is pretty. Yeah, it is. I like it. So, that's what we got going on. I don't know if you can see the changes of color or not. Depends on what device you're watching this on. But, yep. Yeah, that's what I got going on with that. Um, let's see. Besides that. Did we really do anything after you got off work? Not really. Mm -hmm. You were fend for yourself, nice. Yeah, and we had uh, yeah, we had to <laughs> try to go to bed early because. Uh, mm -hmm. I only got about three hours sleep. How many hours do you get? About that. Sleep is overrated. Well, you might say, well, why do we keep making an early doctor appointments? Because I don't like to get to the doctor when they've already had a craptastic day. Yeah. You know, and they're running behind and they're tired and, and stressed out and stuff. I'd rather get them fresh in the morning. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I would like to be the one to irritate them rather than have to put up with them after somebody else did. That's right. Yeah. So. We have doctor. I had a doctor appointment this morning. He didn't. And, um. Everything's fine. My legs are still healing up, but she gave me another round of antibiotic, a shot, another shot in the butt, and then along with it, a shot of steroid, similar to prednisone, to speed up the healing. Um, so I had one in each cheek, and I tell you what, you know the one, the antibiotic always kind of hurts. Um, you know, as it's going in, it stinks. But that steroid one didn't hurt going in, but man, it hits about two minutes later and it burned for a good hour. And Brad said, I got a good well about size of a quarter on that side. Mm -hmm. A little bit bigger on the other side. A little bit bigger on the left or the right? On the left. Really? Yeah. I well, think that was the right. It's multiple bumps. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. So anyway, hopefully that'll do it. You Sorry know. for the noise. Okay, it's been a long process getting this healed up. I'm just real allergic to any kind of insect bites, apparently. And um, I'm going to start wearing long pants. I have a real thin pair of long pants. I'll start wearing when I go outside because I am so allergic to the sand fleas and no seams and stuff. Same thing, I guess. So, that... I'm having some other things, a few other things going on. But my oxygen was good. It was 93, 94, which is really good for me. In Wyoming, it usually ran about 89. And that was with um, nocturnal oxygen. So that's good. And let's show the picture. Okay. A picture of my oldest daughter, Kristen, when she was about five years old. And she's cutie. I sure miss those days. So, I lost 24 pounds from May 15th until June 5th. Even if I account for maybe about 10 pounds of it being water weight, that's doing pretty good. You know, I'm just following the basic diabetic eating plan. Um, I try not to go over six carbs a day, you know, which equates to 90 grams, right? And um, I don't, I don't do calorie counting. I don't, you know, nutrition classes I took before. They said, you know, have all the lean protein you want. And all the vegetables you want, as long as it's not, you know, a uh, vegetable that's in with the carbs, you know, like peas and stuff. So, um, you know, I have some sour cream and, you know, and I have cheese and stuff. I mean, but um, it works well for me. 
um, I go sugar free, you know, and um, I haven't had any sugar, you know, uh, since we started. I don't eat candy at, at all anymore. I drink pop maybe one or two sodas a, a week, and that's it. Um, I do mainly water and um, nice coffee and stuff, coffee. But that's about it. We've gone three weeks now with the Brita filter. Or not Brita. It's Walmart equivalent. It's called a great value. So, um, we've gone three weeks. We'll get ready to change it tonight. It works out great. It's made a huge difference. And you know what? We have not had to wipe out the inside of that ice no. maker hunt since we no. started no. doing that. We would happen to, excuse me, a couple times a week, we would happen to wipe out the inside of that ice maker. It had this brown film. Mm -hmm. We're not happen to now at all. So, mm -hmm. you know. That's nice. I'm a lot more active. Yes, you are. Than I was. That bad gets after me. Because I'm not supposed to be doing some things I'm doing. Um, that's something we're not ready to really talk about. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to really, you know. Um, just, I have a few um, health things going on that we need to have some testing done. And mm -hmm. probably nothing. So that's what we're going to say about it, nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um. He gets after me because I, you know, I catch myself doing some things, lifting some stuff and whatnot that I'm really not supposed to be. But it's hard when you, you and you like to be independent and do stuff yourself. You know, it's hard to have to. You're the same way though. Mm -hmm. Have to be dependent on on. Possibly even more. Severe. Yeah. So um. But yeah, I feel pretty good. I mean, I still get really tired stuff, but part of that is fighting that infection. I didn't yeah. realize it was so severe. Yeah. I really didn't. I know. You know, she yeah. really, that's the first thing she looked at too when she came walking in the room with my legs. I didn't realize that they were that bad. Mm -hmm. You know, but I could, you know, they could have turned into, you know. Something worse. Yeah, it could have gone down to the bone or something and, you know. Yeah. Well, that can be fun. I know. You clean out all kinds. Yeah, you can just throw away that green thing. We don't use it anyway, honey. I know. Well, it's an itch. Four. Two pieces. I can't help it. I know. We got some dust flying around this mofo. Yes, we do. And we had email to place in Alaska mm -hmm. that is for basically homeless. You know, that, you know, displaced and, and, um, you know, they need help. They need everything, so that'll be good. Hopefully we'll hear back from them. I know that Flagstaff received their hats on Friday, so. Have you checked your email? No, not yet. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's the first time I've been on this computer all day. That's very true. Okay, the saga of the cord and Brad. Brad needs an HDMLOQPRST cord something to HDMI. plug in. HDMI. To plug from the TV to he thought his, his tablet. Yes. That way he could stream Netflix. To the TV. To the TV. Oh, no, sisters. No. Can I get a, a hallelujah? The other one's under the chair. Okay. But um, it comes in three sizes. He didn't know this. So he was very irritated. He was very irritated on other stuff anyway, getting the run around, trying to set up some appointment for me. Up until I asked it. But, um, so... And then the DVD player we have is an older model, even though we just bought it last Christmas. Uh, yeah, haven't been that long. Yeah. Ago. Um, so it can't plug into the TV, right? Yeah. 
It can't plug in well, TV. It, can, but it can't. You, we have to buy an adapter. That costs thirty-five dollars when the DVD player with half off costs us fifteen. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. So we decided because we have a smaller TV now. Anyway, we you know because we bought a, I bought him a flat screen for early Father's Day. Um, we're gonna put the smaller TV in back. We're not gonna even run cable to it. Not right now, anyway. Yeah. Um, I don't see a need. On I don't that. see a need to. And we're gonna use put the old DVD player back there. So if somebody wants to, like, say his back's really killing him, he can go back there and get comfy, lay there and watch a movie. Mm -hmm. You know, um, or I could. Mm -hmm. So. In the middle of doing all this, he does find a refurbished. Was it a refurbished no, one? No, it was. Uh, it was a new, but the box had been opened. Okay, it's a uh, open package, but new Blu-ray. Yeah. DVD player or Blu-ray player. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know anything about this stuff, and you know, he's like, well, you know, any Blu-ray can play a DVD and and stuff. So I didn't know any of this. So he found one for forty dollars free shipping, right? Mm-hmm. So he ordered that. Cause yeah, it's kind of like a cruel, and it got the Wi-Fi. It's it's set up for Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. so you can pick up, use it. We can hook that up to our our Wi-Fi. Okay. And we can pick up Netflix through the nice. Blu-ray player. Right. Nice. So we can watch. Perfect. Netflix. Well, could I watch YouTube also? Uh. -uh. Why? Because it's two different things. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So. You want the other half of this? Mm, not Please? right now. I'm... I'll just put it in a bag there. Okay. You guys want the other half of this on? Because I, mean, I pull. I kind of got a major lean. That's kind of the there. beauty of the Victoza. That's a good reason why I was able to lose 24 pounds was because the Victoza just does not. I am not hungry. Mm -hmm. You know, like last night I kept thinking I should be hungry. You had made me something I was eating. What was I eating? Oh, it was, uh... Oh, I was eating a cup of soup. I found a cup of soup that was left, and it was like the cheesy noodle type. And I thought, okay, because I hadn't eaten dinner. And I thought, all right, well, I didn't, really didn't want much. So, um, I thought, okay, I'll just have that. And, um, then Brad was cooking himself some brats, and they smelled good. And I thought, oh, I'd have one of those. I took one bite of it, and I handed it back to him for... I was just like, no. And he's like, is there something wrong with that? I'm like, no, I just don't want it. So, but anyway, um, so Brad's been messing with that. So, and that's why you hear him doing all kinds of stuff because you know the beauty of it. You go to move one thing and you discover, like, that your salt lamp must have gotten either a lot of humidity or must have gotten wet. I'm thinking you're right that the rain must have come in, yeah. you know, but it must have gotten wet and um, then had to clean all that up. No, the salt lamp isn't ruined or anything. In fact, I have it plugged in and back. I really like that warm kind of orange yellow glow anyway. Mm -hmm. And I like to have a low light on when I sleep. See what where Brad and I are so it's opposite. He hates any kind of light. Mm -hmm. So we moved that... Um, lighted dotted diffuser that I got out here because it really doesn't give up off much light at night but I thought it would be kind of nice Brad likes to watch colors change too like I do and and that way he would get to look at it some too so you know um so we ended up deciding to move a bunch of stuff up into an upper storage that we don't use because I'm too short to get up there <laughs> Stop laughing. I didn't say So we move like the dog's ashes and you know you know, CJ's cremains and, and some pictures and some some other stuff up there or he did and you know, but I had to wipe everything down and reorganize it. Yeah. Then that went on to up here. He's reorganizing some stuff because the dog keeps stepping on his stuff. Are you gonna put your camera up? Where you can put your camera up? Please? I'm gonna set it up above there. Okay. Is that where you can get to it easily? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, but so yeah, that's where we're at. 
And then, you know, you find the most wonderful stuff when you're cleaning stuff out. I found this. I forgot I had this. I ordered this from a friend of mine on Facebook. She sells these. It's got the little skulls and stuff. So, yeah, I put it on my vape. Makes me think of my friend, my late friend, Alice Dalton. She's passed away now from lung cancer. And, uh, Is she the one that made that? No, oh. no, but she's the one that, that first person I met through vaping when I first started oh, vaping okay. and um you know so yeah sadly that okay. you know Alice passed away and that yeah. and uh you know really nice nice friend wonderful friend and I think of her often because every once in a while memory will pop up on my Facebook of that has her in it and stuff and uh, you know you know you think about those kind of things we talked with Brad talked with our neighbor yesterday, and, uh, you know, they're not doing radiation or chemo on, uh, on my friend anymore. She's the one that has pancreatic cancer. That's just, they're just keeping her comfortable. And, uh, they're going to be moving. I don't know if I told you guys that. They're going to be moving over onto her, on their son's property, their trailer. So, I'll miss them, but it'll be good for her. She'll be able to get spend some she really lost one cat, and but she'll be able to spend time with her cat, which she really loves. Um, she'll be close with her family and everything, mm -hmm. and they're keeping her comfortable. That's good. So, you know, our cat would probably disown us if we brought another cat in. <laughs> Honestly, I did not realize how hard it must have been for her when she became a member of our household. Like I said, my daughter, the one I showed you the picture of, is the one that found her and wanted her and kept her, you know. But then she basically got kicked out of the apartment for having a cat. So she came to live back home, and then when she left, she couldn't take the cat. And years go by, and her life changed and stuff, and she no longer really wanted the cat. And so we ended up just keeping the cat. And But we never realized how hard it must have been for Angel all of those years with because we had numerous cats and she's just so much happier she is one of those types and, and all cats are different she's one of those types that's happy as being the only cat you know she is much much because she never she never really had anything to do with any of the other cats mm -hmm. when you think about it mm -hmm. I mean she really just female male she really just never no now, she love her some Charlie. We all know this. Mm -hmm. She love her some Charlie, man. But she, other cats, no thank you. She no. is, she plays more now. She runs around here. She's relaxed. You know, used to half time, no, never know where she had gone off to hide to sleep. Now she's just always, mm -hmm. you know, out and open sleeping. She's always, you know, coming around demanding love and. Cuddling up with Charlie. Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of funny watching him freak out. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm one of these weird people. If I see something dirty, I'll have a cloth and start cleaning it. Because I really like these lids for the candles. So, anyway. Um, that's all I really got. You got anything? Mm -hmm. I already said my piece. Brad's having sausage and eggs, I guess, tonight. Yeah. I got to get out. Um, we have some of that cooked chicken thighs. I'm just going to have me a big old salad. That sounds really good. So that's what I'm gonna have. Well, that that those uh, brats I got are uh, I think it's pronounced anadui, mm -hmm. which is um, it's very very similar mm -hmm. to Portuguese sausage. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. And uh, um, you know it's so so hard to find. To find Portuguese sausage. You used to be able to find it when we lived in Wyoming at that one place. Very expensive, but, yeah. you know, I'm glad we get it once in a while. Yeah. So, Where was that? Was that Sam's Club? Smith's. Oh, Smith's. That's right. Yeah, it was Smith's. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. This is a long one. It's almost 30 minutes, sweetie. Holy shit. I mean, so, son of a gun. I love you guys. I do cherish your friendship so much. And I will probably do some work on here later. And I think you guys are awesome. Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.